Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco, where we are in another exciting war of conquest, and we're just kind of beating up everyone, to be honest with you. <laughs> but if, I, if it must be blatantly said, I am just beating up on the Mamelukes right now, and there little chance of an ally. In fact, most of the Mamelukes troops are gone, and the only resistance I'm really having right now are from the Crimeans, who apparently get, like, super boost in terms of military almost every second. Um, let's see, they have a 4, 1, 2, 2. That's actually pretty bad. No, it isn't. Slow down. I'm not sure. This this could be a pretty bad battle if I don't plan this right. They have let military tac tactics 18. We have military tactics 21 right now. Which means we have a combat width of two more than they do. We could potentially win this. And gain a lot for ourselves because Mansa Musa is a really good fighter. He has exactly the same amount of shock this guy does. And exactly the same amounts of horsemanry. So this could be a pretty good battle, but... You know, just to make it more even, though, we could go send, you know, let's go send, let's, once we, like, siege down some of these provinces right here, let's just go, like, send a massive army to go help them, okay? Yeah, there we go. There we go, yeah. We're gonna go send another, like, good amount of troops to go, 37, 37 troops to go make sure that the army over here does not destroy me. Down over here, we have, I bet, I bet they're doing, they're trying to do stuff. I mean, I, these guys are going to try to do stuff, but it's it's not going to work very well because, it, yeah, they're basically just cannon fodder. I'm basically just going to crush them. Apparently, the only person I can also piece out of this peacefully is Crimea. You guys are attacking me, aren't you? And sadly, you're going to lose. Yeah, that was kind of sad. Okay, we have two armies over here just to be sure that we win this. Okay. So, yeah, I, I apparently just lost the battle. That's kind of sad. We get my Diplo tech up. Ooh, that that was actually a bad move right there on my part. Whoops. Uh, cause now we don't have enough to like gain what we want. But that's okay, cause we won't. It'll take us a little bit to seize down everything. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, you guys go right here. Guess, and I guess we really didn't need those guys. Okay. And the thing I want out of this war is of course I want this one province right here that way it kinda completes my uh, look right now but let's see if you guys can cancel some of your vassalage specifically probably to Ethiopia would probably be the best bet cuz I could easily defeat Ethiopia by itself and you know be able to deal with it but they're probably the most difficult or see these are the two options I could do right now I can either do that or oh apparently oh oh I apparently can't release the nation I wanted to release so yeah this is all we're fighting for this round it's just to release the protectorate of Ethiopia okay that way that way if we ever do go to war with these guys we don't have to deal with you know the crazy Mamelukes and the crazy scheme to take over the world uh, then again we can't actually get to them but it would be nice once we can um what's more important this time mm, yeah yeah I think for once I have to say it but I think that getting a these protector guys out of need underneath them the model looks probably the most important thing Cause they need I think they need to get out of this like honestly they need to get out of this Okay, and then they have the siege over with. They have absolutely nowhere to go, though, because I literally have an army ready for them. Okay. And it's now time for our great commander to lead the biggest and probably the biggest and bloodiest battle we've ever had in our entire history. And it happened all the way in the north of the country. This is, yeah, I know I have major, major, major. How much am I taking? 3.6? Not too bad, actually. But 40, 57 versus 41. This is going to be, this is actually going to be a slaughter on their part. But I'm going to see just, ooh. Ooh, my goodness. That was devastating. That first blow. Okay, you guys go right there. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to group up all my army again and just, like, divide them out. This is, I'm starting to get all my armies confused. Oh, there we go. 
Okay, and yeah, I think I think we finished them off. That that was their entire that was their entire force right there. They had nothing else. So it's just I think is there anything actually we want from a Crimea while we're kind of thinking about it? We could release Kazan. No particular reason, just to release Kazan. We could return some cores. Not really uh, worth it. We could cancel treaties. You know what? Yeah, this is what I want from them. Because <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to fight Crimea in a future war. Because they're not really... Honestly, they're just kind of deterrent in the overall scheme of things. I'm not really going to be using the North that much in almost any sort of capacity. So, yeah, if, if they could just, like, stop attacking me, that'd be nice. Or just stop, like, dealing with anyone in the Middle East, that'd be nice. England, by the way, we still buddies? Yes. Sweden, you guys are a little bit mad at me. I don't know why. Like... You guys are a little bit mad at me, so I'm just going to improve relationships and see if I can smooth it out. Okay. Blasphemy! Uh, we can take the prestige here right now. We're, we're doing pretty good. Native uprising! Yay, the battle! Yay! Uh, natives. They really gotta learn not to do that. Cause they, I'm really gonna crush them if they keep doing that. But you guys just go over here, actually, and just seed down all this. Um... Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that I left a little bit of men right here, and I'm gonna go send them right over there. Okay, how about this? This will make me remember. Go back here, go back there. Okay, and then you guys, you guys are just gonna carpet seeds the... Uh, I mean, we're gonna carpet seeds these guys to no end. I mean, we have so much men over here. I think we pretty much crushed their entire army. Let me see. They have 35,000 soldiers left, so... Okay, I have to be a little bit careful, but I do have an insanely good commander. Unless he just died by some miraculous instance. Okay, yeah, we just have to make sure we keep just crushing all the little tiny men that keep popping up. Yeah, now it's time for you guys to die. Ah, Aragon, Serbia, and... Sure. I'll join it in a second. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be in this war, in whatever war you guys are fighting, yeah. Serbia... Aragon, you're in my you're in my fight. So you're in my trade center, so where's my attack fleet? Oh yeah, that's right, I pretty much destroyed all of them. Okay, you guys go crush them. Go crush whatever army that Oh. Oh well, I was about to say, wait a minute, did I just do something stupid? Nah, nah, my my ship's got this. My ship's got Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness, that is just destroying them. That is just destruction. I didn't even use my good commander either. That was kind of stupid of me too, but dang was that destructive. So yeah, we just basically wiped out all of the, uh, you know, <sighs> Argonian army the ships. I mean, they, they basically lost all the heavies, so now all they're dealing with is galleys, which aren't going to be much effectiveness against me. Uh, okay, group all you guys up. Keep moving you guys down, keep moving you guys down. You guys are all grouped up, right? Yeah, you guys are all ready to go kill these guys if they try to do anything. We also have our vassals right here. Nice and cozy vassal. I'm so glad I took you as my vassal. Is there any more land I could probably steal? Yes. So, note to self. Do not, do not, like, completely give up Oman, because Oman has, like, two cores for Najed. Okay, got that. But let's continue with our wars. Let's see. They, I know there is a big, probably some way in here, some kind of like big Crimean army that's just waiting to be crushed. Well, that wasn't the big Crimean army that was waiting to be crushed, but that is the Crimean army that I just crushed. And for some reason, we can't detach a siege. I don't know why. Oh, it must have been just updating. Let's now go attach, detach a siege, go down here. And we're basically going to try to make sure we keep kind of scouted reports on all the territories. We make sure that they don't like... Oh my goodness! We are so rich right now. Okay. Can I just like... I don't know. Pay myself out of this war? By the way, you guys go back here. Who has my colonial genius naval commander? Okay. You guys don't... Did he die? No, he's still alive. I just don't know... Wait. Where are you, dude? Because <laughs> this is this is probably the war where I'm probably just going to use you to the utmost and maximum amount of your capability. 
Speaking of which, since I have so much money, let's just build an insane amount of war galleys. Like, we have so much right now. Like, I can build so much. Like, let's just keep building as many as we can. Let's just keep building. Like, I want to make sure that in the future we have, like, no one that will be able to deal with our naval superiority. We're just going to be like... Oh, wait, actually, did cancel that one, because that one's going to be hard to build. I just want to be, like, in the future, like, no one will be able to handle our wrath. <laughs> okay, 25. And how many do I have right now? I have, like... How many do I have right now in the attack fleet? 25. Ooh, I need four more. Because that will make 50, and that will make me completely and utterly untouchable. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. If I build all of these, that will make me completely untouchable by every other nation's standards. There'll be absolutely no one in any seed ground, in any kind of, you know, attack sphere that will be able to fight me. Like, I will be completely and utterly, well, impervious to everything. Let's just say that. In the short term, impervious. Okay. There we go. Right, let's go go finish up the siege of Bashir. Once you guys are done with that, then we're gonna go deal with this Iraqi army, and then we're gonna go finish them off. We can we call the diplomat. We don't really need to keep it there. All right, and then this right here. Yeah, we're just finishing up the Mamluks over there. Over here, I do know there are a couple armies that I could easily destroy. Let me just first give them a. Okay, where is this naval commander? I know. Okay, this guy doesn't have a navy. Huh. Oh no, he's not a land leader, is he? Oh, he's the general. Oof. Ah. He's also insanely good, though. Hmm, but is he would. Uh, I'm gonna have to kick this guy. Oh my gosh, that's so good, but, like... Right now, we have such a good guy right now, it's not even funny. We could probably get an even better guy once this war actually finishes up, because we have so much, like... Hmm. I didn't even realize these guys even got past us. I didn't even... Oh, yeah, I completely forgot we were fighting these guys down here. See, this is what I mean, like, I forget. I will forget about the actual war we are actually fighting down here. This was supposed to be, like, a big... The Kill Wall Yins are probably thinking, this is such a big moment, we broke through the lines. And I'm just, like, thinking, yeah, I just forgot about you guys. It, it wasn't, like, anything personal. It's just, I literally forgot. I forgot of you. You're just so unimportant. It must be such an insult to, like, a nation to think of... You're so unimportant to the actual war that I forgot you guys were fighting. Oy. I I don't know if I'd feel really glad about that or really sad about that. But it would definitely not be a happy moment. Okay, so I absolutely have no war galleon person right now, so let's just go let's go have some fun out in the seas. Go crush all these like uh happy go light happy go lightly ships that are going to be easily killable. Cause absolutely this is going to be an easy war. Yeah, now they're all frowning and scared. By the way, how are you doing? Okay, Serbia has somehow destroyed all of Hungarian's army. I don't know how that happened. Uh, Aragon just has like 40 troops just sitting there. Yeah, good for you. You're not really going to use them. I'm just telling you that now. Serbia, you better not. Please don't destroy my friend's army. I mean, seriously. There we go. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for a gigantic stack to just crush. Yeah, just... I'm telling you guys right now. You guys have basically lost the naval war. And whenever I want to, when I finally like feel like it, I'll go send my army to go help them. Because I already know this is going to be a tough war to win against. Oh, did somebody else get in the war? Or am I fighting more people than I think I am? Yeah, Hesse joined the war. But Bavaria joined the war. So why is Bavaria not fighting these people? Yeah, you have a 30 stack right there. Ah, stupid AI. You can't coordinate, can you? Okay, just keep sieging down all the land. 
Yeah, there we go. And just keep moving down. Yeah, now I'm in base now I'm basically in the safe zone area where they can't they can't really do much. This is this is the end of the empire over here. Okay, we got this army done. Let's go destroy these guys then. Huzzah. You guys are done. Let's go get you guys down. Assimilation. Yes. Yeah. And now the, this war is now basically completely and utterly over with. And it's funny. The only thing I'm fighting for this time around is just so I can flee Africa. So then, so that in the future wars, I can actually declare war on them. Because honestly, it annoys me the fact that they are completely and utterly dependent on their co- the co people. All right. There we go. Go to the main province. Okay, stop him from creating any more soldiers. Then go down here, go and go stop him from creating any more soldiers. Okay, you guys go degroup again. Go send him over here. Yeah, I've completely broken Crimea. In fact, I think they'd probably accept the peace right now. Yeah, they'd probably accept the peace. Is there anything I can get out of this again? No. If I remember correctly, these guys are completely and utterly useless. But what I will bribe out of them is they will give me money. Actually, you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep that to a bare minimum. So I want to make sure I don't accept too much diplomatic stuff. And besides, I have enough money right now. There's not really much I can really do with it. Uh, you know, I could actually release Kazan. But I really don't see a point to it. Like, I wish I did, but... I mean, I can't... N no, there's not really much point. There's no real, real point to keeping you guys in the war anymore. I'm just going to keep you guys out. Okay, gonna group up all my army. Gonna group up all my army. You guys go right here. And then from there, the next war we are going to be fighting, guys, is the war to go kill Serbia. Because Serbia wants to be a kind of gigantic jerk right now. And Henjez is apparently being taken over by rebellious Omanian members. They want a royal marriage too, which is kind of weird, but... I'm gonna have to say new no to that, cause like, that's not the plans for how I'm gonna set up my empire. And now, it, now that we got this all focused, let's see, are they trying to raid me at any point right now? Oh my goodness, my massive fleet has just finished. Okay, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, my massive fleet has just finished, well at least most of them. Let's just give it a little bit more time, yes, okay, okay. Let's just scoop these guys up in casual order. Okay. Ooh, I can't. Well, I didn't group up everyone. There we go. Okay, I'm just I'm probably gonna have to island hop this just a little bit. That way they don't like all die at one point from like a random encounter from enemy troops, but oh my goodness, now I have now I have a war now I have a war fleet. Now I'm back to being like the number one wartime nation. There is like literally no one. I don't even think Great Britain's gonna have like a bigger army than me. Okay. Oh, you guys group up right here. You guys group up right there. Um, we could probably also speed this up by going over here too. Damn. I think there's like troops in the way or something. You guys go right there. You guys go. You guys definitely do have to be worried because you guys are right in the thick of it. Okay. And I don't want you guys to be grouped up with my own little troops. Go right here, go right there, go right there, and then you guys go right there. Wow. Terribly lots of micro. That's all I gotta say. Terribly lots of micro. Okay. And then once these guys have all grouped up, you guys are almost all there. And once these guys have terribly all grouped up, Wow, I'm surprised I can actually support a support limit of that. It's now time to go help out our friends over here with our insanely good commander. Because they're obviously going to need some help in this war. Even though I know I probably won't gain anything out of it. It's good to just show the Europeans who the new dog, who the new, you know, cool kid on the block is. By the way, any new, any kind of new things? No. I don't think Swivel Cavalry. Hmm.
Okay. Well, apparently we just upgrade our us own firepower, which means we are even better. So, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.